Let's talk about 15 ways to touch base and supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hornell from here. And this is actually a 1991 World Championship Minnesota Twins uh, commemorative bat that my son got. He was born in 1991. Yes, we've had this for 31 years now. He, uh, he was a very exuberant child when he was little, so we had to take the bat away and somehow it ended up with my things. And it makes a great prop for different things, especially baseball related idioms like this one. Every, I don't know if every, but most of the idioms that have the word base in them came from the 1930s and have reference to baseball in America. Baseball being the American pastime. I don't know if it is anymore. There's so many pastimes and so many things that get our attention. Baseball probably is not considered the American pastime anymore, but it still is a good American sport. So let's talk about different ways of saying to touch base. We know that to touch base means to check in with somebody, right? Uh, we had a press secretary not too long ago that used the phrase circle back. And I found it, uh, I wasn't going to share this, but it's so funny. I have to share it. There is a corporate changes dictionary for jackasses. And I'm sure it's a, a tongue in cheek reference guide, but they define circle back. And I'm actually going to read it because it made me laugh out loud. Um, a phrase used by upper management often when they have no idea what you are talking about or referencing used to give the impression that the subject will be revisited only to never bring it up again i thought that was a really funny definition because that is exactly how it's been used it's why i don't like that if i'm going to say touch base i don't know that you will ever hear me say circle back because i i find that such a disrespectful disregarding uh of the person asking a question or referencing something, uh, I think it's a really poor way to treat people. So what are good ways to treat people instead of just touching base? And I found an article that was uh, 10 different ways to touch base without or through email that aren't, hey, I'm just touching base because people get sick of hearing you just say, oh, I'm just touching base. What are some other ways to communicate that? And then I came up with some of my own as well as things that I've used in the past and added different ways besides email that we can touch base with people. So we'll talk about those. Uh, number one, propose a specific topic, date, and time. Instead of saying, hey, I'm just touching base, think of something that you want to actually touch base or talk to this individual about and propose a specific time and date. Propose a meeting, ask for a meeting, right? Number two, uh, share a relevant resource. People love it when you think of them and you come across a resource and you share that resource with them. I love that. I love it when people send me articles because it made them think of me, etc. It's flattering or because they know that I'm working on a challenge or a problem and they found a solution to that and they send that to me. Um, three, reference a specific piece of their content. I also love it as do most people who create content online when people comment or share their thoughts about something that I shared on social media or in an article or in my books or in a discussion that we had or at a meeting that we had or a networking event or a conference or something. Number four, congratulate them on a trigger event. Trigger event meaning birthday, anniversary, uh, promotion, new job, uh, starting a business, whatever it is. We have events that happen in our lives all the time. Most people don't know about them, but when they do and they congratulate us for that, it's always a good thing to, and a good feeling. Uh, number five, bring up a common challenge. You know that you're experiencing something and maybe ask them for their advice to see if they've got any experience with that particular challenge. People love it when you ask them for their help and advice. Not when you expect it for free, but when you really know that they have an area of expertise and that you have a, a specific question that you can ask them that number one, won't take up a ton of their time and energy. Number two, isn't out of their way. And number three, isn't a freebie asking type situation. Number seven, uh, reiterate your value. Share, uh, and this can come off as kind of salesy sometimes, so be careful with this one. But if you have something that you could help them with, you could volunteer to help them with it for free, right? Maybe they have a little problem that you can solve for them to demonstrate your value and to reiterate your value. Number eight, ask for information. Sometimes we just need, have a question or want to ask for information. Nine, um, invite your contact or the person that you want to touch base with to an event. Maybe it's a networking event, maybe it's a conference. And 
inv or invite them for free to one of your events that you're giving. Uh, number 10, reach out to ex-clients. It's important that we follow up and reach up to people that we've dealt with before. Maybe, and don't always ask for something, maybe you're just checking in to see how they're doing and how what you did with them is impacting them and if it's still impacting them today. Why? Because that makes great referrals, right? As well as to build the relationship. Uh, number 11, share pertinent information with them. If something new is coming up that might be of interest to them, and only share it if it would be of interest to them. And if you're I'd say 90% sure or 100% sure it would be of interest to them. Otherwise, again, it becomes you're just pushing your interests on them. And it's all about being interested in the other person and how you can help them not and sharing what you can share with them, not what you can get from them. Uh, number 12, I like to, this is one of my favorite ones, send surprises or send gifts. I like to send little things that I come across in my travels and my activities to people as they make me think about them. There's a gentleman that I am uh, contacts and friends with here in the online world and I have things around my house with his name on it all the time because my kids are big snowboarders and so uh, I'm gonna have to take some pictures and send those to him one of these days because every time I see him I think about him. Uh, other ways to touch base with people without the email you can have a business phone system you can have a, a nowadays we have messaging text messaging phone systems um, chat bots and things I don't like chat bots for touching base with my people and I consider the people that I want to be uh, friends with and build relationships with my dream 100 I call it thank you Russell Brunson um, it was called something before that but he basically honed in on the term Dream 100 and made it click funnels and his own. Uh, but I don't, I don't want to just be using a system to call and follow up with them. Now I have my own personal system for doing that, but it's not a system that other people would consider a, a phone system. Uh, video meetings uh, nowadays, ev almost everybody, including my mom, who's 85 years old, knows how to use Zoom and have personal video conference meetings. Facebook uh, phone, you can use video as well. I think almost most of the social media platforms, the biggest ones, have some kind of a video viewing uh, context now. Um, team messaging, you can do team messaging to touch base with and keep track of your team, your vendors, your suppliers, people that you interact with. That's more of a touch base on keeping up to speed on business activities. and. Finally, one of my favorite tools, again, I learned this one from Russell Brunson, is Voxer. It is a walkie-talkie app, and there's video apps like this, too, that I've learned from, actually, from some of my students over the years. Different video apps, and I'd have to look at my phone to remember the names of them. But Voxer is one of my favorite because it's a walkie-talkie app where somebody can push a button, and if they know my handle, they can ask me a question directly. I get buzzed. If I'm busy, I don't answer it right then, but as soon as I'm done being busy, I will hit it listen to the message and I can respond, I can push the button and respond immediately. Fastest, easiest, time-saving device that's literally saved me hundreds and hundreds of hours a year because I can just answer people right away. I don't have to try to message, I don't have to try to text, I don't have to try to uh, do go technologically out of my way to respond because almost all of us can push a button. So, love to know your favorite ways to touch base. Have you used this expression? Guaranteed I have. Uh, circle back, not so much, except to talk about it in a derogatory manner. Uh, if I can help you anyway, if there's a communication related idiom you would like to know the history of, what it means, where it came from, how you can apply it to your business, hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll pick one and I will be with you tomorrow and share that. Have an awesome day.